third option is persevere with it and try and fix it.
Mm, right. So up to this point, things appear to be going well. It's all nice and sharp on the iron. Just went to use it and it all went pear shaped. Now at this point I've got three options. Option one, I can fake it for YouTube, you'll never know. Option two, I can continue with the video and put out some BS ending about showing you mistakes and all the rest of it. But that doesn't actually get me to where I want to be. I'm not doing this because it makes a video. I'm doing it because I want the tool. And none of those first two options give me the tool. So the third option is persevere with it and try and fix it. So it's kind of what I'm doing. Let me show you the problem and fingers crossed my solution. Right, so I, I genuinely don't know if you can see that in there at the moment. Um, I'll maybe have to take some photos and kind of throw them over the top of this. But basically, sharpen this up on the tool mat and on the diamond plates you saw. And just used it for the first time on a piece of pine, not this piece of pine, another piece. And it's just trashed the edge. So this is not very hard steel. This is um, P-poor quality steel. Um, or it's been softened, it's been annealed at some point, I don't know quite what's happened there. Anyway, so that basically at the moment is tut. So just to be on the safe side, um, what I've done is I've put this chisel in here and done it like a Paul Sellers style poor man's um, router and it works um, really nicely. It's taken that paint off absolutely beautifully. It's a scraper play. I don't know if you can see the shine on that timber where it's taken the paint off. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so in terms of the plane, the angles, the angle of the iron, the wedge, all the rest of it, it works really well. This is the weak link. Um, so I've got two options now. Try and heat this up and harden it in some oil and see if that works. Um, cut down a chisel, or try and find a uh, a new iron. I don't think I've got any old antique irons or any bits of steel suitable to make an iron that's uh, inch and three quarters or an inch and a half wide. But we'll see. Fingers